Yeah, thank you very much. And at the very outset, let me congratulate Dr. Ranjit thank you so much, for his outstanding contribution in bringing everybody, every expert on the what platform for those languages. I have just two submissions to make. One is the victim of a crime and the bereaved of a crime ought to get justice. And the DNA technology or DNA profiling or DNA fingerprinting or whatever the name you may give it is so far irrefutable, incontrovertible and a very positive evidence against the perpetrator of the heinous crimes like bodily crimes like uh, rape, murder of the rape, beat of the minor or the major. Really, heart reaches out to those young girls, to those people who get mercilessly and in cold blood killed, brutalized, and here I would like to touch a very emotional chord, chord by sharing a PDF, which I'll leave it with you. I know there's some connectivity issue. So there are some connectivity issue. We hope that uh, Dinesh sir will join us soon. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. You're audible, sir. I think the desktop is, uh, the network is out, so I'm just using my mobile. Yes, sir. Perfectly fine, sir. Okay. Then I'll be sharing uh, those things when the network returns. I'm trying to uh, resume it. Once again, I'll log in. But at the same time, what I want to say is that we should listen to the body on the spot, on the site of the crime. And I think with that, we would be in a position to do justice to the victim by whatever modus operandi we have. Whether it is through connecting the circumstantial, circumstantial, circumstances, circumstantial evidences, or it is through the evidences which have the traces of uh, human body remains fluids, etc., like blood, saliva, etc. So the topic from crime to conviction is a very relevant and pertinent topic. And uh, this topic needs to be drilled into the mind of every IO, every investigating officer, 
every forensic expert, whether the forensic expert is from uh, uh, from the government organization or it is from the uh, from the non-government organization, which are who are registered, of course, that they should they should focus on the chain of custody. This is number one, and number two is that samples should be uncontaminated beyond doubt. Now, how to verified how to find out that the facts to the chain of custody how the custody was from the chain of custody one can improvise like narrating uh, video i get station and uh, the delay or the chain of custody putting in doubt will automatically will get erased and, uh, uh, and it's the past. right now what happens is a person uh, 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 I think we have some network connectivity issue with the, our speaker, Honorable DC Sagar, sir. We are just waiting him to join again. In the meantime, Hello. Yes, sir. It's coming, sir. I think there's a net issue. It's on the mobile. The the Wi-Fi, I think, is gone bonkers. I'm trying to fix it up, but at the same time, uh, let me draw your attention toward the key points because the time is running out and you have a lot of uh, other engagements lined up for the future. And that's very important that uh, the, the students or the researchers, the scientists, they have worked very hard to present their papers. I mean, they should get a priority. Of course, they should get and they will be getting priority. Yeah, my bottom line thing is that the IOs, the investigative officers should have, should have the tendency of taking the assistance of the forensic scientists on the field. And if, if they don't have the forensic scientists in the area, in their area, they should have the basic bare minimum knowledge to let no contamination takes place while sampling those things. And they should learn at least the basic things are how to wrap up the, how to sample the uh, the blood swab, or how to, how to take the uh, the sample of the hair root, or how to take the sample of a semen stains, or how to bundle up those wet cloths. Uh, what should they do? I mean, these are protocols, you know, everybody, every thana should have this protocol written uh, on their walls that one, two, three, four, these are protocols like uh, they should always have these uh, fluid things dried up first in the natural shade, and then they pack up in something which is which has something to breathe. Uh, like the uh, whatever they can put the, the cloth or the uh, or the or the paper they should have a breathing space breathing thing in it so that it doesn't uh, get contaminated by uh, getting a fungi over it or some other thing so my uh, submission to all of you is that for the honorable justice to take a call most important thing is whether from the spot the evidence was lifted in a correct way in the same in the correct protocol or not whether the sample which was taken from the spot was delayed or not whether the sample was taken was was uh, was packed up and was sent with a uh, with an authorized source at the point where the uh, that the DNA is going to be, uh, DNA testing is going to be done to that, uh, that sample. Once the honorable judge finds that the chain of custody was intact, the contamination was not there because for contamination, it is the, uh, it is the FSL, the forensic scientist who has to make a, make a note of it that these are the, this is the situation 
for this is the status in which they had received the sample. And if the sample they have received is of was having some kind of a contamination, then he has to put in record, yes, there was some problem with it. And as far as the circumstantial evidence is concerned, all these samples would be connected to the circumstantial evidence, which is the duty of the police or the IO to that is that is the prosecution to come up and line up all these things in the interest of getting justice to the uh, justice to the the person who is a victim, whether the person is deceased or is bereaved. Everybody should get a justice, and for getting the justice, one has to uh, take pains, and these pains can be in the form of doing one's duty with proper care and caution. Yes, I think uh, both my seeing an echo. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Now perfect, sir. Now perfect. Right. And here we have our screen to share. Where is it? In the bottom, there is a share screen option, sir. No, that is there. Yes, sir. But what I was showing you is that. Uh, you have opened that file, sir. So we are not able to hear you, sir. Your voice is not coming to us. Can any other participant, at least, sir, uh, sir's voice is coming at your end? Yeah. Okay, now I have, uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Now you are audible. Mm -hmm. Now I'm audible? Yeah. Okay, let me share the screen yeah, once again. Let me share the screen once again. Now, Screen is visible, sir, but uh, please, un uh, please unmute yourself, sir. Unmute, sir. Uh, sorry, screen is visible. Uh, please unmute yourself, sir. Uh, Sagar sir, I think uh, 
please unmute sir हेलो यस सर ऑडिबल सर स्क्रीन इज आल्सो विजिबल सर हां इट्स अगेन फॉर द मोबाइल इट्स अगेन फॉर द मोबाइल यस सर व्हाई दिस केस इज बीइंग पुट अप बिफोर यू इज दैट इट्स अ केस स्टडी इज अ सक्सेस स्टोरी वेयर द ऑनरेबल जस्टिस वाज इन पोजीशन टू अप्रिशिएट द रोल प्लेड बाय द बाय द प्रोसिक्यूशन एंड द डिफेंस लॉयर वर डिमोलिश्ड लाइक एनीथिंग they they might have raised a lot of questions but they were all demolished uh, by the prosecution theory that circumstantial evidences were ratified and approved and supported by the incontrovertible in irrefutable dna sampling which connected the spot with the victim and the spot with the uh, with the perpetrator of the crime they accused and hence the another issue which came to light was that of the girl belong to those parents or not that paternity was also established beyond doubt by this dna sampling that uh, the complainant actually were the uh, were the uh, were the biological parents of the of course that was never the dispute but at the same time uh, it was uh, necessary to prove that yes the girl who was missing for some time uh, who was missing for some time uh, and was reported that she is missing and then uh, uh, later on how uh, she was uh, recovered in such a mutilated form that anybody's heart could break anybody's heart could blast and, uh, and with such an emotion with such a rational that the person who has committed such a horrendous and such a, a heinous offense must be brought to justice and in order to bring to justice the dna is uh, is is such a potent and a paramount evidence uh, protocol wise that uh, no other evidence was required to prove it beyond doubt that yeah this is the person who had uh, who had done this uh, this uh, uh, heinous offense heinous uh, uh, heinous crime against the baby who was innocent had done nothing and as i told you with the emotional cord that from the spot the spot the dead body of the person the remains of the dead body would obviously say ki mera saboot sabse mazboot hai isko dekho isko collect karo isko pahunchao forensic laboratory jo bhi protocol hai uske anusar and i'll tell you these double helix dna will definitely prove to be the news for the perpetrator of the crime yani dna ke jo uh, wo hai matlab it's like a it's like a ligature wo ligature uske gale ka phanda banegi and then he'll be no more and he'll get uh, he'll get paid for uh, the wrongs which he has done the the offense which he has done the crime which he has done so in my view in my view all the young uh, entrepreneurs who are here they should be things that is number one the chain of custody and number two is Uh, and uh, how the atc combination on the genetic markers of uh, ystr and autosomal strs and that individualizes and uh, ascertains that uh, x is connected with this crime or not i mean that this dna from uh, crime scene to the conviction has also one one more shared one more uh, relevance and that relevance is the protocol of individualizing between uh, the innocent and the accused and the perpetrator i mean that, uh, that it delivers the justice from the other side also that if you have not done an offense we'll individualize it we'll individualize it and we'll see that the innocent is the innocent remains innocent and the innocent is not put to uh, put to this uh, uh, this conviction i mean if an innocent is put to conviction then what of what use is uh, of the such a uh, such a brilliant uh, technological Uh, innovations and technological uh, maturity which has come 
not only to India, but all across the globe. And of course, we also pioneer as well as the DNA fingerprinting is concerned, like uh, uh, Professor Lalji, we remember him, uh, we'll remember him for ages. I mean, these are all inspirations. And you all young guys, you all know people, whether the male or female, you all have this DNA of leadership inside you. Try to understand, try to appreciate that. Yes, you have the capability to do it. You have the capability to, uh, to deliver. And once you, you, uh, you have this conviction, the gut feeling inside you that you have the potential to, uh, to do your job correctly and to do your job to the, uh, to the excellence or the excellence plus. I will go in for the excellence plus. So you also go in for the excellence plus. Excellence, not set, go, don't get satisfied with the go beyond excellence. So for this, one has to work hard, whether it is in the laboratory or it is in the field or it is uh, going around uh, collecting the evidences or for uh, going around painstakingly to get the evidences bit by bit from, uh, from the area around getting a tip off or getting uh, the trail. I mean, this is a chain, you know, the chain of evidences, how the, the offense uh, had taken place. Uh, of course, I have not been able to show you the, my uh, PPTs the, uh, in the proper way because of the network problem that is not in my control. And again, the, we need to really work on uh, this uh, internet. Uh, also, as we've been working on this uh, DNA, we should also have this, uh, uh, I mean, the internet people should take a lesson from the DNA, how uh, it has come up with a foolproof kind of a thing in the result delivery. And uh, in my view, in my view, when, when you have this, uh, this gut feeling inside you that you want to deliver the excellence, whether it, it doesn't matter whether it's in the government field or not, or whether you are in a private sector or not, what matters is that are you in a position to develop the protocols? Are you in a position to impress upon that? Yes, this is the methodology. This is the, this is the innovation or this is the innovativeness uh, with which uh, we can further reduce the contamination. We can further reduce the, uh, uh, reduce the hanky panky thing in the chain of custody. Though it doesn't happen because uh, everybody's uh, everybody's uh, responsible, and accountable for one's job. For example, for to take an example of a thana from a thana, if you if you if, you, if a person with a DNA sample uh, leaves from one thana, say 200 kilometers, he would definitely keep keep that sample with him like a baby. He takes so much of care that uh, like like his his uh, her her baby does not get any kind of uh, any kind of uh, uh, adverse impact of the environment. He would definitely take care of those things and and uh, let those samples reach the right spot uh, uh, within the reasonable time which is given to him for, for, for traveling to the, the place of uh, uh, this uh, scientific investigation in the, in the laboratory. And it, it really, the Indian criminal justice system is so, so transparent and so impartial and so, uh, so uh, correct to the justice that if, if the DNA sample is not matching or if there is some problem, if there is some lacuna in the investigation, if there is lacuna in the, in the prosecution case, definitely it will acquit, acquit that person. No matter whether in the, in the lower court, say, say in the DJ court, uh, if a person is convicted for, say, uh, death penalty and if there's an appeal in the higher court or the Supreme Court, they would definitely apply a judicial mind and find out that what are the reasons for them in acquitting that person? And when you read those reasons, you will definitely come to the point that, yes, they, these are the point which uh, were not taken into account by the lower courts. And in the PDF, which I'll leave with all of you, uh, these cases have been cited there with proper citation, which can be, of course, verified from, uh, from the net, that how, how a person, how an IO, our investigating officer, how the cops, how the police cops, they were not in a position to deliver though their, their version of stories with, backed with the, uh, with the physical evidence or uh, the circumstantial evidence or the seizure of the, uh, seizure of the, the equipments or the weapons which were used for uh, perpetrating, perpetrating this, uh, uh, this crime. So both ways, acquittal and conviction. This is what the beauty of the Indian criminal justice system is that if you, you have not done anything, if you're innocent, those evidences are going to speak for you and you don't have to uh, worry about it. Of course, the defense 
lawyers and defense prosecution is going to uh, going to uh, come up very heavily with with all the theories to uh, to counteract and to negate and nullify the stories put up by the by the prosecution but the prosecution who stops the prosecution from putting a brave front and putting a very scientific front and putting a very technological front to get justice to the because they have seen the spot because they have seen the victim because they have seen the body if it is diseased deceased they have seen the they have talked to the uh, through the uh, to the uh, victims uh, family and they know the pain so this pain should synergize them to get justice to the uh, to the person uh, who is uh, either no more or uh, who is uh, uh, who is in a trauma because someone's daughter someone's son someone's mother someone's the, i mean what i mean to say is the indian criminal justice system must must open the eyes of all the ios all the forensic experts etc that definitely there there is a problem in the investigation there's a problem in the prosecution theory there are holes in the prosecution theory because of which a person gets uh, gets acquitted and uh, other thing which i would like to tell you is that uh, in the uh, in the as far as the dna is concerned we definitely remember the the uh, the pioneers like frederick mitchell and watson craig alex jeffrey and uh, kerry moles and uh, uh, lalji tandon ji i mean these are all the luminaries these are all the uh, the experts uh, uh, whom we should vouch for that yes we'll definitely take your legacy forward the legacy of excellence forward and uh, the uh, as far as the death penalty is concerned one must one must take care of it that uh, the honorable court always looks at it from the very scientific point of view of the rarest of rare cases there are various tests which uh, uh with the honorable court has uh, before uh, pronouncing judgment that whether the whether the crime test was was the uh, prosecution in a position to pass or the criminal test was uh, whether the prosecution was in a pass or whether this uh, this dna test uh, was the police in a position to pass all these three things you know they uh, this uh, rarest of rare case uh, uh, is the one uh, where the offender or the perpetrator of crime has has reached such a point of depravity and but uh, it's an exceptional depravity and and uh, culpability i mean the person has ceased to be a human being i mean it shakes the conscience of everybody every human being that such an such an incident such a such a crime uh, which has taken place uh, uh, the person who has done it can not be spared even for a second of course we have to follow due procedure of law and that we are being following of course the the cops or the police uh, has a duty to uh, to investigate the matter there are certain sometimes such cases such glitches for example i'll tell you there was a case from indore where a minor was a minor a minor uh, girl was uh, abducted who was just sleeping over there with the on the on the pavement side she was uh, uh, lifted and abducted and it was all there in the captured in the cctv camera which was there somewhere near around now the cctv camera which should have been observed 24 by 7 which was not observed had it been observed definitely this event would have been pre prevented but then later on it was uh, it was decoded and found that yes x was the person who had taken the, that that uh, baby uh, on a cycle and then uh, uh, that the person was the the person became such a brutal such a such an animalistic tendency came overcame him that he with an intention not only raped that person raped the baby after that he killed that baby mercilessly <clears throat> and uh, of course uh, <clears throat> the tna sampling was in a position to uh, to uncover everything to record everything that uh, yes uh, it gels with the circumstantial evidence also that is uh, how uh, the cctv was uh, affirming to the point that uh, the person was uh, being uh, carried away uh, on a cycle and then from there uh, there was a trail blood trail etc on his cycle on his on his body on his clothes and uh, the the place where he had thrown that baby from a from a uh, from a building 
that also had a trail and everything matched, as I said, that the, uh, the victim fluids on the body of the accused and the victim fluid on the spot. All these three things should be, uh, the sampling should be done with due care and caution and the, and the, uh, and the, uh, the packaging also has a relevant factor. Of course, everything has a protocol. I mean, uh, all the IOs or the police walas, if they are listening to me, they should see that all the protocols should be written on their wall, on their, uh, on their thana, and it, they should have it in their, in their WhatsApp. That yes, these are the checklists which you have to follow uh, while uh, undertaking any kind of investigation which pertains to either POXO Act or any kind of uh, uh, the bodily offense uh, which warrants the attention of the DNA sampling. So this is uh, what I wanted to tell you uh, that uh, all the all the uh, scientific officers they have an acumen, they have a, uh, they have a thought process, and they are brilliant in their own domain. And, and they should, where they are, they should try to come up uh, uh, with something new. I mean, why, I mean the DNA uh, technology, the protocol has not stagnated. It has been progressing. And we should, we should further progress. We should further progress. Minus this contamination, the chain of custody, et cetera, we should further expedite the process of getting uh, the DNA profiling that is called the individualization. I mean, uh, why we should have to go so many processes and uh, we should have some such process like, uh, uh, like what you have in, uh, in testing the, uh, in testing the uh, blood sample, uh, blood uh, group. There's one chemical and that gives it the antigen that gives everything. So likewise, uh, in future, I have full hope. In future, I hope and feel and uh, pray to God that we should have some such uh, technology that uh, with it, with just, uh, 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 with the, with, by just batting an eye, uh, you should be able to confirm that yes, this is the uh, the DNA of uh, accused, this is the DNA of the victim, and this is the, the DNA of the spot, and they all uh, come to converge to a point which uh, which certifies that yes, this uh, uh, incident or the crime has taken place, and uh, these are the victims and these are the accused. So the honourable the work of the honourable court would be just to appreciate that one, two, three, four, five, six. If they are asked for the protocol, yes. Confirming to the circumstantial evidence is yes. Here goes the punishment, here goes the penalty, here goes the death penalty. So my friends, I think uh, uh, that uh, the, uh, I'll just try to, one, uh, to join it once again or this thing, uh, let me see whether this, because I just want to show you for five minutes that uh, uh, the PPT, which is very important uh, from my point of view, This is not connected, still is not connected. So I, I, I remember that uh, uh, for an IO, for an IO that is investigation officer, how important it is to crack a case, how important it is to detect a case, but just det detecting a case is not enough. What is important is, what is important is after detection, you have to get conviction. You have to get conviction to get justice to the uh, victim and the bereaved. So friends, it is not working. Since it is not working, I would just to further uh, enhance it, would like to take one or two questions. And then uh, if it uh, goes well, and I'll come back. Hello. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. And uh, yes, we can understand there is some internet uh, glitches, which is not in our control. But yes, I'm sure that audience have uh, delighted with hearing your motivating talk. And uh, also like uh, we always, uh, you know, uh, this is not the first time uh, we always whenever we hear you we get motivated and we try to learn more and more from your experience uh, now i request professor achilles sir uh, sir you want to share something thank you dc sagar sir for your impressive and motivating talk on the use of dna in conviction uh, we all agree with your suggestion that the IO must have the proper knowledge of sample collection from scene of crime, so it can be helpful in getting the justice. Thanks I, think, for I, think it is, 
It's got connected. All the good news for all of you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for five minutes. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we are able to see the um, PDF. Uh, please unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, You unmute, 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 you now it's okay. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Okay, fine. Just quick browser. This is this is a PDF which is going to explain everything. This is case number one. Is a case of Jabalpur. A person activated because of because of the prosecution theory, which had a lot of holes, which should not be there. Hey, if there is a hole, the what the DNA scientist can do? And this is the play. This is the case where the death penalty was awarded on the accused because. the io was the whole team was in a position to use dna as a source of sample of the accused and for one by him at the time of committing such a gruesome crime like rape and murder which matched beyond doubt on the basis of ystrs and autosomal strs both another case which also uh, calls your attention is that how the best investigation investigation the prosecution theory can help the honorable court to get the accused to justice that means to how to punish him befittingly this is another case of mansoor where a a diligent and a brilliant scientific officers have put in their heart and soul and mind into it to get the dna report whether it was ystr or autosomal str those profiling compelled the honorable court to get justice to the victim of the crime These are other cases. These are all the 
all the glorious chapters of all the scientific officers of uh, Madhya Pradesh, which I have collected and put them in the form of a book. This is where I would like to rest that in one innocent man, a baby girl who was three months and four days old was brutally raped, assaulted and mercilessly killed. The honorable court held that the accused guilty of murder and rape and awarded death penalty because the DNA of the victim confirmed that it was the accused who had committed sexual offense on her and finally killed her. The DNA evidence also corroborated with the other evidences, thus established a lawful connection between the accused, the scene of crime and the victim. In furtherance, inspired by the judgments of the Honorable Court, like Bachan Singh, Machi Singh, and Krishan Khadi Rao, Dharam Yadav, etc., the present case was considered as brutal, grotesque, diabolical, revolting in nature, like arousing intense and extreme indignation of community. The case was a case of exceptional depravity and culpability. So, friends, with these words, I thank everybody here, all the because of whom I've heard and everybody had one common point and that was how to get justice to the victim, to the bereaved. And I especially thank uh, Dr. Ranjit Singh once again and uh, Professor Aklesh and the lady, I don't know, name is not being figured here, that, that they've been, they've, uh, uh, they, they've such, said such kind words about me and I believe that we all must work together to make our criminal justice systems foolproof and it should be made more Synergic, and everybody must think about it that the accused must get what he has done. And if a person is innocent, and this innocence should be proved beyond doubt. With these words, and of course, uh, Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to interact with such luminaries and legal uh, eagles like all of you. Thank you very much.